corruption, sin's consumption, asinine all the time, dead in its destruction. Vice and vengeance, breaking commitments, we're vicious, violent. All the while a great denial, the Christian silent? Nah. Colossal fraudulence, loss of common sense, devoid of consciousness across the continents. Death and decadence, pride and pestilence, humanity's vanity and earnest with the evidence. We're under condemnation. It's insane. Whether it's John McCain or Obama's nation, will still be an abomination. Right. Amen. Compromised, capricious constitutions. Indolent, injudicious institutions. Prevalent, pernicious prostitution. Insistently, consistently, maliciously use sin. So don't synthesize your sin inside with sentiments of sinner's pride. But acknowledge that women who are masculine and sin that they're basking in. And feminine men brings an imminent end. So much so, sin's casinos are cashing in. While seditious squads, vile malicious mobs, follow hollow fictitious flaws, malicious facades. Also biased media, hostile recycled lies inside the encyclopedia. But wait, the curse gets worse. How can it be? Let me let you know of false Christianity. Yeah. So yo, it's Sadducees, Sadducees and Pharisees and liars preaching heresies to choirs. They wallow in mire and swallow entire camels. So senseless in sin, they'll go to the fire and gas-filled flannels. Dumbing down the doctrine to keep sheep asleep in stupidity. Frozen with 32 degrees. Doctrines of divinity. False prophets of prophets say peace, peace to perditions, priests, and pernicious popes. While unjust jurors and judges tell jokes, sell dope, smell coke, and jail folks. Yeah. But I'll denounce their indolence. They're without an ounce of innocence. Right, right. So much so, the tragedy's ignoble. Depravity's gone global. We're a debased, disgraced human race. But I'll make the case just like Lee Strobel. Well, right. Man, you see, our plight, we fight in spite of his bright majesty. Hey, that's a tragedy. Wicked humanity continues decaying like a cavity. Our exponential depravity falls faster than gravity. There's no objectivity to do the good that we should. It's an impossibility. I hope you feel me. Or better yet, feel the Bible. This is so vital for you to reach the wedding recital of the risen lamb, whose conveyance of title took our sins, iniquities, atrocities, counterfactualities, moral deformities, made perfect, painted for all of these. His sheer sin being imputed to him. Their justification not disputed again. It's totally accomplished, will not be diminished, because he says it is finished. Woo! Yeah. The on behalf of the elect. The Father punished their sins to correct his foes' disrespect. Because he chose to forgive some, he would have been just to forgive none. Back to the subject, the risen king, lord of everything, of electrons, protons, neutrons, pigments in your crayons, the cosmic stone, the whole universe, and so on. That we presume to breathe his air. Who sit to say that he's unfair? We're perfectly aware. Need no questionnaire of him who sits up there in the chair. Uh -huh. And because of your moral disrepair, you must prepare to meet the Lord. The one you ignore and abhor through your criminal record that you can afford to pay. You owe him every day the glory to his name. To be displayed in thoughts, emotions, and deeds. So according to the creed, so read Deuteronomy 6.4. This is your chore to adore, to explore his decor galore. I implore you not to ignore or abhor him whom you were made for. So put your faith in the one who completed the needed obedience with expedience so we can dance and sweet romance with the son whose adamance the law here has brought acquittance but benevolence. So now we strive in abstinence from decadence and through repentance and faith we're made safe from his wrath. The aftermath of his warpath. Your anemic craft can't detect the spirit. There was those who have ears to hear will have a heart to fear, and those who don't will see it. It is a clear, severe message to revere. If you're not sincere, get rid of your mere veneer and bow to the premier who sheer splendor will render an offender tender to surrender. His downright majesty is grabbed a hold of me, granted amnesty for my travesty, so now I'm free. Yeah, it has been made known that he alone did atone for his own. This is the fragrance, Christ alone. He's a stone of stumbling. He's awesome, fearsome, and troubling. I'm fumbling and mumbling, describing him as humbling. See Isaiah 57, verse 11 through 15 to see what I mean. Isaiah 64, 2 to see what he'll do. 
So knowing the terror of the Lord, we want to construe to you his soon debut. So undo your askew worldview. Your sins are cruel, and your review is overdue. So without further ado, the only way to circumvent, deserve torment, is to repent and godly lament. Look to the one you loathe, who came clothed in flesh like a tent. Christ was sent, born of a virgin by loud of the sin. To show his truthfulness, Christ Jehovah our righteousness, put on skin, lived obediently then, according to plan was pinned for the removal of sin of those predestined to be kin. He the substitution to remove their pollution. The question is, what will you do then? Yeah.